back to King 5 News at 4. I'm going to ask a question of you parents. Now that it's been a couple of weeks without school, are you going stir crazy to try to figure out what to do with the kids? Well, fear not, we have an expert here to not only help your kids stay entertained, but also to help educate them and pique their interest in science this summer. Asia, Asia Citro is here with us, a former classroom teacher who is now a stay-at-home mom, an author, an entrepreneur, a blogger. We're going to start out with a really cool hands-on science experiment. Asia, it's good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so I have a background in science education. I actually have my master's from UW. Yay! Um, and getting kids passionate about science is um, what I love. So we're going to be talking about inquiry science today, which is just a fancy word for child-led science. Mm -hmm. So you get to be the child today, okay, and you cool. get to decide what we're doing. Um, I've given you a little head start here since we're short on time. Yeah. We've got some baking soda, right. um, and then I added some food coloring for extra fun. Okay. But we have vinegar, we have lemon juice, we have soap and some spoons, and you can mix up some different concoctions here okay. and try them out. So lead me through it. What am I going to mix up? It is completely up to you. So this is something that's wow. different for adults. You know, we're used to being told what to do with science. Okay. Um, but for you, it, you're going to just do whatever you'd like. Okay. And you can mix some of this stuff. Actually, if you want to mix the liquids in the cups and then pour the liquid oh, into there. Oh, pour the liquid in there. But you okay, can try that too. We'll just so we have acid. There. We have vinegar. Vinegar. Mm -hmm. Acetic acid. Acetic yeah. acid. We've got, got some, some soap. To increase the surface tension, we're putting in <laughs> some soap. You even have a spoon I'm if you'd like it's to stir. Okay. And then if it's ready, I don't know if you want to okay. add some lemon No, juice. I think they, this one's good. All right, so and then go ahead and pour. So I've got a little more soap <laughs> because I cheated and I read <laughs> your experiment. Here we go. Now I'm going to put it in here. Whichever okay. one wow. you want. Okay, so this Lots one barely choices. has, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to go for the big one. I'm going to go for the gusto. So we're putting acid in there and the baking soda. Wow. Yes. Now if you cool. want to try something with less and see what the difference is. So as a parent, I would be here facilitating, helping you. Um, I would be asking you, what do you notice? Did you notice this, this one faster or this one faster? Wow, it looks like this one is a little faster. A little faster. Would yeah. you like to try it again with one that has barely any? You can mix up a new concoction. Yeah, we'll do that one. Even okay. faster, yeah. So some vinegar. And basically, it's all about the kid exploring. You know, maybe they want to just try a bunch of things with soap. Maybe they want to mix different things every time. Um, but there's not step-by-step -step oh, wow. process. It's totally up to you and what you're interested wow. in. And I'm here to just help you observe and make some notes and, you know, clean so up So I spills. noticed that this one, when the liquid fully got into the baking soda, mm -hmm. it, it went faster. It did. And, and it went yes. more, more intense. Wow. And so something we could do if we were at home is I would say, well, let's set up an experiment. Let's mm -hmm. see if you're right. Let's try three with a tiny amount and three with a big amount, and we'll make sure that we're adding the same thing to each of them. And we'll see what happens with our experiment. This is awesome. Um, you have a blog, and it's called uh, Fun at Home with Kids. I love it. It's got a great, great resource uh, for parents, hands-on stuff. What do you hope people take away from your blog? I would really love to inspire more creative play with kids. I think um, especially when people approach science, they feel like they have to be an expert in science, and you have to have you know this long list of directions, these fancy, complicated mm -hmm. materials. These are all things you can get at the Dollar Tree. They might be stuff that you have in your pantry. Um, and it's all about letting the kids play. Wow. And it, you, if you don't have an answer, you can look it up, and that's great modeling. And you also have a series of books. You've published six. You've got two more on the way. Um, I, I read that you decided to start writing because you just weren't happy with the books that were on the shelves for your kids. Yeah, I, I really wanted stuff that inspired more creative play and kind of put kids in the driver's seat. Um, so you'll see a lot of inquiry-based play or child-led play. Um, all of these feature inquiry science. Um, these chapter book series, um, they feature a child using science to solve um, problems that magical creatures have. And she keeps a, a little journal and everything, um, but it's all up to her. Um, and they're all child appropriate science That's concepts. very cool. <laughs> and, and your kids are obviously your inspiration. And on the covers. Too. On the covers. <laughs> so talk about, we've got a couple of events coming up. Yeah. Uh, that people, you guys at home can take part in. So, so let's talk um, about those. Yeah, this Sunday, um, we're gonna be doing a really cool um, nature sun catcher craft at um, University Bookstore Seattle. It'll be um, su Sunday, July 9th from mm -hmm. 1 to 2 p.m. and all ages are welcome. The kids are going to make really cool different creations um, and take them home and you can display them in wow. the window. How do people sign up if they want to do that? You would just show up. Just show it's up? awesome. Yeah, everyone's welcome. Um, and then August 12th, I'm going to be um, doing an event for this one. We're going to be rescuing little tiny pretend dragons from um, a block of ice and kids get to keep oh, wow. a gem and a dragon if they come. It'll be really fun. 
Um, and that's from 11 to 12 on August 12th. And that's best for ages three and up just because the dragon and the jump yeah. are a little small. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Asia, great to meet you. Great to Keep meet you. Keep up the too. good work. Thank and you. again, the blog in case people want to check it out. Fun at home with kids. Fun at home with kids. Okay. Amanda, Jordan, back down to you guys.